Mauro Betty. The three judges assigned from the United States, Bill Clancy. From Venezuela, Nicholas Hildago. From Scotland, Victor Laughlin. And inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell, referee from England, Ian John Lewis. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the O2 Arena, London, England, 10 rounds of boxing for the WBC International Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue with white, official weight, 17 stone, seven pounds, one ounce. His professional record consists of 29 victories, including 14 wins by knockout against six defeats. And in his 35 heavyweight contests, he has never been stopped. From the ATL, Atlanta, Georgia, USA, here is the challenger, Kevin Kingpin Johnson! And across the ring, Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with red. Officially weighing 17 stone, 10 pounds, 8 ounces. He captured Olympic gold and now, as a professional, has a perfect record. 12 fights, 12 victories, 12 knockouts. From London, England, a member of the most excellent order of the British Empire. The undefeated WBC International Heavyweight Champion, AJ from the UK, Anthony Joshua. Boxers, all around the referee. I suppose you're both in the dressing room. Obey my command at all times. You both know the rules. Watch the heads, keep the punches up. And when I shout break, you break clean. And remember, defend yourselves at all times. Shake hands. Well, can Anthony Joshua bring up stoppage number 13? Does Kevin Kingpin Johnson live up to all those words and take this fella deep? It's 10 rounds, I said 12 earlier, it's 10 rounds, that's what it's scheduled for. Whether it goes that long remains to be seen, and we're about to find out. Joshua versus Kevin Johnson. Johnson's been talking about letting everybody know where he's been doing his training after the fight, but it's impossible to keep a secret in this business. He's been working with Peter Fury, Tyson's uncle. And the corner is being run by Clifton Mitchell tonight, who is also part of the, the Tyson Fury team. And Johnson just evading that right cross. Yeah, well, there's a chance that uh, Big EJ might learn a few tricks tonight because Johnson is really experienced. He knows his way around. You know, he knows when he is hurt, how to cover up, get through the odd crisis and so forth. You can see him showing little feints at Joshua. Who knows, maybe even like get a few shots through and mm. test his chin out for us. But uh, we'll find out how much ambition He's brought with them as this one rolls along. Tried the double jab there as well, Johnson. Joshua was talking this week as well. He said we, the plan is not just try and bomb him out of there, break him down bit by bit. Because the record would suggest your ability. There's the first big right hand landing, followed up by a left. And Johnson already in big trouble here. And just shrugs it to say, is that it? Is that the best you've got? But he was shaken, Jim. And there's a body shot coming in as Joshua continues to stalk him down and make this ring really small. See, I just feel that Joshua, when the time comes, will punch right through the defences of Johnson. I mean, that was a terrific right hand, a right hand lead. Jo Johnson didn't see it coming. Beautifully delivered that was. And Johnson doesn't have anything to keep Joshua off him. I think he's feeling this already. I think he's starting to think, well, it's easy to talk, it's not so easy to deliver. Johnson is backing up for all he's worth here as Joshua continues just to zero in on him. Taking his time, couldn't land the right hand that time, just out of range there as well, but it's survival mode already this for Kevin Johnson, who tries the old Ali shuffle that gets a bit of a, 
bit of a laugh from the crowd in the O2. That's where comparisons with Ali end. Well, Johnson's never easy to catch cleanly. But uh, when it reaches the stage that Joshua doesn't have to worry about what's coming back, you expect he'll just march through. At least Johnson getting some punches off here. He'll play his part uh, as long as he's in there. Joshua going to work once again and nails it. Right hand. And it was the ropes that kept him up. He hung on to the rope. He takes a count. Last 10 seconds. Somebody's throwing something in the ring. Ian John Lewis hasn't seen it. Now he's got rid of it, but can Johnson survive? Joshua looking up to blitz him out of there. Inside a round, there goes the bell, and Johnson is finished. Destroyed in a round. He's on his feet now. Is Ian John Lewis going to let that continue? But he is in terrible, terrible shape here, Johnson. I'm not sure even if they do let this go on that no, there was he's going to be in any kind of shape to defend himself. He's been wiped a, out. There's a huge right hand landing, Nick, when he come up off the floor. Really, he should not be allowed to continue here. I, I can see this happening pretty much as soon as the match was made. Johnson has nothing to keep Anthony Joshua off of him. And those were terrific punches. Really powerful shots. He did well to get himself back up again, he's a proud man. But I don't see any point in sending him out for the next round, but it seems they're doing it. Well, Clifton Mitchell almost shrugged there as if to say, it's your call if you want to go on. As you say, Jim, brave man. But that's one minute to try and recover from the effect of that, get over the effect of that right hand of Anthony Joshua's. And it's not a case of if it's when and that when looks like it's going to be any second now he is in terrible terrible trouble here just get getting blown there. apart got to get him out of there Ian John Lewis he's throwing nothing back what is the point in this he's just desperately trying to cover up trying to block these right hands and give him credit he stood up to that assault but nothing there nothing but trying to survive nothing in his legs look his legs have gone he is stunned he couldn't Buster a punch. Now, if Joshua can just measure one right hand, that'll be it. Josh Johnson saw that one coming. Oh, looking around a double jab, but just takes a jab of his own. Gasping for breath in there, Kevin Johnson. And then just clipped with that long right hand. Trapped in a neutral corner. Well, he knows how to survive. I'm, I'm amazed he's lasted this long. The punches he's taken there. Well, that reputation for durability is well, well deserved. But how much longer can this go on? And it's stopped. It's over. Done. Inside two rounds. Kingpin just got bowled over. And the biggest smile in the place belongs to Anthony Joshua, who does it again. What on earth are they going to do with him next? Well, that'll ring some alarm bells through the heavyweight division in world boxing. No one's come close to doing that to Kevin Johnson. I fancied it would happen. But uh, nobody has done that to him before. But uh, Anthony Joshua, different stage of his career and a totally different class as well. They're going to have to let him off the lead sooner rather than later. What is the point putting him in with people that you can just bounce around? But who do they find to stand up to him? What a terrific talent this young man is. I just said a few a, a few fights ago, Jim, I said, name ten heavyweights ahead of him. Name five. How many are there? I mean, that was pure destruction he just unleashed there on Kevin Johnson. It was vicious and it was calculated. I mean, you just wonder who do we suggest? Tony Thompson? Uh, Price? You know, but the, he, he wants there. an opponent with who he'll get credit for beating, I mean, we knew he would beat Kevin Johnson, OK, we didn't know he would blast him out in two rounds, but he wants credit for the victories that he's going to achieve, and until they step up the opposition, and, and they won't is, get that. And this is it, Jim, it is a very, very small pond of heavyweights that belong in the company of Anthony Joshua right now. Yep, I agree with that, Nick. Yep, I mean, we don't want to see him overstretched. 
But uh, we certainly do want to see him in a, a match that is least competitive. And uh, we haven't seen that yet. He's far too good for the level he's been performing at. But look at the smile on his face there. I think when he came in here tonight, he had a point to make, and he made it. Said he wanted to do some damage. He absolutely destroyed Kevin Johnson, the man who's never been stopped. Absolutely breathtaking stuff there from the still unbeaten Anthony Joshua. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just witnessed the unstoppable being stop. Referee Ian John Lewis has to call a halt to the contest at one minute. 22 seconds of round number two. The streak continues for the gold medal Olympian from London, England. Now 13 and 0, 13 KOs. And he is still WBC international heavyweight champion, the AJ from the UK, Anthony. Once again, those three ringside judges weren't needed. Anthony Joshua did it again. So let's have a look at the tally. Four first round stoppages, six now in the second, three in the third. He'll probably go back in his dressing room now and uh, put a few rounds on the pads. That's what he usually does. Well, we still have our main event to come. That all British welterweight world title fight. Kel Brook in action, defending his title against Frankie Gavin. There's Kel just warming up with Dominic Ingle, his regular trainer. What a fantastic job Dominic Ingle has done with this fella, keeping him focused. But you get the sense after all that's happened in Kel Brook's career, inside and outside of the ring, this man has now put it all together. He gets it. And the best you feel to be yet to come for Kel Brook. Camp Frankie Gavin, of course, feels very much otherwise. But this is a night where he has a lot to gain. Frankly, nothing to lose. It's a big, big step up. The bookies don't fancy him one little bit. But upsets happen all the time in this business. That is why we love it. Gil Brook, Frankie Gavin, coming next. But right now, let's go and join Ed Robinson. Well, Anthony, absolutely ruthless in there this evening. How did you enjoy that experience? I really enjoyed boxing. Training's the hard part of the game, you know what I mean? I get two days to rest in between fights. I really uh, get my head down, play a bit of FIFA, I chill out with the boys. And I come out here and perform in front of everyone that comes out to support me. This is what it's about. This is what it's about. It's an incredible reception in London for you. Yeah, man. You know, I've travelled around so many different uh, places under matching promotions, but this place is becoming like my home and it's filling out more and more every time. So shout out to everyone that's been here to support and shout out to all the new faces as well. Talk us through the performance. The right hand was lo lovely landing continually on Johnson, who'd never been stopped before. Yeah, but you know, this is what I'm here to do. I'm here to try and make statements. But my coach really drills me in the gym. And it's only right that the hard work pays off. You know the saying, hard work pays off. And believe me, boxing's a tough sport, so. And I want to dedicate that to Mitchell and John Ryder, my teammates as well, because that's a, a tough night tonight. It's been difficult with them both losing and then having to come in here and perform afterwards. Sorry? Must have been difficult with them both losing and then having to come yeah. in there. Because we all share a changing room and it's an individual sport, but they're all my stable mates. But they bounce back. This is sport, you know what I mean? Johnson's going to bounce back. This is what can happen in the sport of boxing, but they're true warriors, man. So take my hat off to them. And good luck to Kelbrook and Frankie Gavin. So that's 13 straight knockouts. Are the L plates well and truly off now? I don't know. It is what it is. People say that this guy's going to test me, that guy's going to test me. It's only going to get tougher, so the L plates will come off. I'm going to fight tougher opponents. The game don't stop, so I'm just, I'm just enjoying it while I'm here. So where will your promoter, Eddie? Surely you've got a fast track, Anthony, now. That was devastating. I mean, I'm still in shock. You know, 18,000 people in here tonight. What I witnessed is the future heavyweight champion in the world. And, um, you know... We've got to do things right. We're, we're progressing at the perfect pace. Possibly out in July. On September the 12th, we'll be back here. You're going to love the fight we got here on September the 12th. But we should celebrate. He's a great man. He's a great fighter. And he's great British. 
Can you give us any clues as to who it will be in September? Any clues as to who it will be in September? Uh, we've got a few names there, but we're going to fill this place up again. This guy's going to be every single heavyweight in the world. We've got a chance here for a heavyweight to fly the flag for Great Britain and well, win world titles and unify the division. So let's all enjoy it and let's all follow the journey of Anthony Joshua. Thank you very much, well done. Well, well, well. <laughs> Carl, you know him well. He didn't bite, he stayed cool. What has he shown us tonight? I'm not sure.